Hurricane season is from June 1st to November 30th with the peak activity when these ocean monsters really get going is mid September. But for a hurricane to look like this, certain elements need to be in place. Come down here with me. It all starts with one drop of rain, one lone thunderstorm above the ocean. Now, because of the spin of the earth, a circulation starts within this storm, but you've got to have the right ingredients to get beyond this point. To become a tropical storm or a hurricane, temperatures have to be 80 degrees, but it also has to be 80 degrees to at least 150 feet deep. Now, this is just the water. You also need the upper levels of the atmosphere to be colder than the ground. Air has to cool with height like climbing a mountain. If there's an inversion or warmer temperatures above the ground, a storm will have a tough time getting organized. Now, the upper level winds need to be in the same speed, going in the same speed, and in the same direction from the ground to 5,000 feet. If upper level winds come from a different direction, that'll weaken or prevent a hurricane from forming. This is called wind shear. And during an El Nino summer, wind shear is a big factor. And one of the reasons this hurricane season is forecast for a lower than average or average storm total. But when everything is perfect, a hurricane will form and strengthen. These ingredients are like a car. You need good tires, good engine, and plenty of gas to make a tropical system go.